Hello, my friends. Russell Wright from Network Empire and ThemeZoom.com. I'm really excited because I have Sue Bell and Jimmy Kelly on the line today for our weekly Jimmy and Sue Speak. And this is our Friday weekly get together. And this week we have decided to talk about this upcoming plugin that I'm completely freaked out, excited about called the One Feed Supercharger. Hey, Sue, thanks so much for walking us through this. And Jimmy, it's really great uh, to have you as well. Thanks, Russ. Thanks, Russ. So let's talk about this thing, Sue. First and foremost, in a nutshell, what is this thing designed to do? What does it do for us? And a lot of people have been waiting on it, but just for those who haven't heard about it yet, what's in a nutshell is the One Feed Supercharger? This takes the, your blog mm -hmm. and third-party content and mashes it up similar to what Yahoo Pipes does uh -huh. and creates feeds, an unlimited number of feeds that you can then do all of the feedy kind of things with. Very, very cool. So you're going to give us a little bit of uh, demo here? Yep. Showing us what, okay, that's cool. Let's get right into it. All right. So we're going to start by adding a new feed. Okay. And here you can give it whatever title you want to give it. The title is important because when we get back to Google Analytics where you're going to see what comes in from your feed, that name is going to show up again. Okay. So um, um, let's just call this video test feed. Got it. So whatever you end up calling this, that's going to be what it comes up as in your Google Analytics uh, campaign. Correct. Okay. Now you can make this keyword rich if you want to. You can okay. also have a description for your feed. Mm -hmm. And this can also be keyword rich. And Jimmy, you guys both recommend uh, the keyword, you know, probably we'll talk more in our courses about keyword association and naming these, right? Like in our more advanced courses. Yeah, that's because your description typically with feeds or bookmarks and stuff like Google pulls the relevance mm -hmm. from that description. So you want to make sure you're sprinkling in your LSIs and keywords gotcha. into that. That's kind of what I was thinking, uh, you know, because since you've shown that, I figured you'd say the same. Okay, but this general demo is good. All also, right. as you um, as you broadcast your feed mm -hmm. out on feed directory sites, yeah. they look in the description and in the title for keywords. Gotcha. So when folks do a keyword search mm -hmm. for if they're going to put the feed on a, their site, they're looking for fresh content on their site. Gotcha. They'll look for those keywords. Okay. And uh, does it does the name of that add new feed area also show up like when you're looking at forward slash feed dot rss or forward slash xml? Is that actually going to be in the title of your of your the URL of the feed? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So uh, continue. All right. So it's optional. If you want to include content from your blog, you can. You don't have to. So huh. in other words, this can be a feed of all of your social media uh, sites, all of your social media platforms. So, for example, you could have um, Storify, Scoop It, YouTube, Pinterest, Delicious, Tumblr, Dig, Stumbled Upon, Reddit. You could take all of those feeds and, and pull them together and throw them into this. Okay, just to, to clarify, um, so what, where do, how does this pull a feed right now? Uh, like so, if, I do, if I do nothing right now, what feed is this going to pull? If you do absolutely nothing, it's not going to pull anything. Okay, so you still have to enter the first feed manually, right? Yeah, so okay. if, if I want content from my blog, mm -hmm. I can say I want 10 posts, the most recent 10 posts. Gotcha. And I can either get it in summary or in full content. Right. Okay, which is the, one of my biggest beefs is mm -hmm. if I if under my um, my settings, mm -hmm. I set it so that my feed is one or the other, right. I can't get the other one. Right? right. So this gives you the opportunity to have both a summary and a full content. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, and so your not... summary can... And so the, the, def the default blog settings is not a factor anymore because you can control it here. Correct. Correct. You can okay. make a secondary feed here. And then also over here on your blog, you'll see all of your posts. Mm -hmm. And so if there's a post that you want to be sticky in this feed that you're creating, mm -hmm. it never goes away. So in other words, normally with feeds, they've got, yes. in this case, your most 10 recent posts. But let's say that you always want to have this aliens post in there. Right. <laughs> so that no matter where your feed goes, people are going to see that aliens post. You can always get a link back to that Aliens Post page, and pe more people will visit that Alien Post. Yes, okay? this has been a major pain for me, and as far as I know, this is the only thing out there that does that, what you just described. Sticky, exactly. Sticky in feed. And the advantage of that for listeners is that there are times when you have really super important URLs that are out there. You want them to continually be exposed and continually to be hammered and parsed and to give you that more more link juice, which Jimmy and Sue get into in more advanced courses. So what you're saying, just before we move on to the ad feed, uh -huh. um, the default uh, feed to this test, like for example, this is a test blog. So yeah. 
uh, it would be it would be pulling the feeds. You're talking about the blog that the plugin is installed on is the is the default feed that it's going to be using if you don't add any. It's not going to pull any content from this feed unless, or from this blog unless I put something in right. there. Right. If it's zero, it'll never do anything. And you've got exactly. It. So I can delete this and I can put in five other blogs down mm -hmm. here uh -huh. and it'll it'll put those five blogs together and not any content. Gotcha. So it also acts as almost like an external software. It doesn't have to associate with this blog at all. You can mix Correct. any number of feeds from any locations and just use this as like a hub. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So then um, let's put in a YouTube feed. All right, mm -hmm. and let's say that I want, uh, let's put in five videos from this YouTube feed. Okay. And then let's add another feed and let's put in Pinterest. And let's put in 10, 10 images from that Pinterest feed. Gotcha. And, oh, I have an idea. This G plus RSS, this little software over here. Let's, uh, let's grab that feed from my G plus posts and throw that in. And uh, let's put in 10 posts from, from Google. That's available at gplusrssmaker.com for those interested in that app. It's a really cool one. And, oh, that's enough for right this minute, eh? Okay. So that's what you've got here is three feeds, five, 10, and 10, the number that's going to be rolling. Plus 10 posts from plus, this blog. Pl pl plus 10 posts from the blog that we're on. Got it. Okay. Plus the one sticky post. Right. But I, I want Darth Sidis to also be sticky to the top because he deserves promotion. Can you put them there too? Okay, cool. All right. So that's going to be an addition to the 10 that come off okay. of this, just so you know. Okay, gotcha. It doesn't, it doesn't reduce this to 8. Oh, it All doesn't. Right. So anything that goes to sticky post will be addition, and then the other is default, the ones that are going to roll. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. So then I hit the publish button, and dun, 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 dun. Oh, my goodness. It's having to think. Well, we got this test server running. And it's in England. It's in England, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I can view my feed. Oh, there it is for view. Okay. It's pretty similar to if you were putting in an article. Gotcha. You've got this option over here to put it in draft, but that doesn't really yeah. do anything. And also, so. to its credit, it's got to go to those other feeds. It's got to parse them. There's a lot going on. Oh, cool. Both Darcidus and Alien is sticky at the top. You've got stuff from Pinterest. You've That's wicked. And then we already know that right? Pinterest is an RSS feed of 100 domain authority. Jimmy and I were just talking about Plus we have G plus RSS and G plus R G plus is a domain authority of a hundred Jimmy. Is that right? Let's yeah, that's correct. Okay. Uh, all right. There's that. Okay. So, okay. So, gotcha. so now we can take this and we can stick it in feed burner. Uh Oh, Oh, so you're actually going to show people how to promote this right now. Are you? I, I am, but that's part of our course. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> This yeah, automatically sure. picked up the, the title that I put in my blog. Right. And uh, you can change that up to be whatever you want. Yep. And then it'll come back and it'll say, all right, gotcha. there's your feed. You and can dress it up. And there's a whole bunch of other locations you can put those in. But those are part of our live, our training. So, no, I'm just kidding. You can put it on whatever. There's also things like feed blitz and free friend feed and all those other things all have high domain authority but those of you listening i really strongly recommend that you attend jimmy and sue's uh, you know attend our training classes like domain authority stacking.com and just so you know the power of this and also our live events because there's so much that we're not showing you because we just couldn't stuff it into this video but this really saves a lot of time sue like i know this is obvious to you but i'm already well, it's a lot easier to use than yahoo pipes oh my gosh and and uh-huh and you can mix and match. And one of the next, like this is our, our very first version of this, right? Yes. So like the next version is going to have keyword filtering on it. And we're going to get into all kinds of cool things that you can do with feeds. Well, there's rumors and, There's rumors that you're actually going to knock off the Samson type thing for backlinking and all these different things. Eventually, it will automatically yeah. publish to all kinds of cool yeah, places. And all, yes. There was also a rumor that it's apparently going to drudge up old posts like Pingfresh as yes. well. And so it'll kind of be... All the things that we adored from plugins that were out there that haven't been like maintained as well as we'd like to, but we're taking the best features out of them and putting them in this one. Exactly. Not that we don't like all we, you know, we love and like and love all those plugins. We're just, we want our own version that just takes the cream and, you know, we don't want to focus Makes on it. Makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Got it. And one it's plugin to rule them all. One plugin to rule them all. <laughs> .com. Uh-oh. I'm going over to my domain purchasing location here. Just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> I actually have to buy that now that you said it, Jimmy, just because every time you say something, someone goes and buys a domain. I went to some obscure domain that you like mentioned like haphazardly on like an OMG webinar and it was gone like after the webinar. I just, right. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, continue. All right. So there's all kinds of things that you can do within FeedBurner to publish your publicize your feed. Right. Uh, well, you can also publish your feed through FeedBlitz. I love FeedBlitz. Feed. I love FeedBlitz. Uh, we talked before we videoed this to give you guys a little tip. That's a domain authority of 83 and I'm going to have Jimmy look more at us. You know, it's not like a 90 or 100, but it, heck, you know, for 30 seconds, it's still pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Every little bit. Helps. Every little bit. Don't get Jimmy started on this topic. <laughs> There's friend feed. And then friend feed is more about, uh, what is the domain authority of friend feed? I've never looked at that. Oh, it's a 93. 93. Uh, I don't know what the feeds are, but that's pretty good. I still get traffic from friend feed, you know, on Network Empire, we still get traffic from that. And we set it up yeah. in like 2007. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Then there's Hootsuite, which you can use for... Hootsuite is a, a way of generally posting any of your feeds to the limited social media services that they have. But one of my favorite social media services that they have is Google Plus, posting to Google Plus biz pages, partially because it's robust. And it is free for the first 10 accounts. So if you don't want to pay for $6 a month, you can get multiple accounts. Cool. Yeah. So then I'm going to come over here to, to Google Analytics and I'm going to show you where it is that you're going to be able to look for um, the output for this. Now, I don't have, we, we just got our hands on this plugin today. Right. So I don't actually have a Google account set up just yet. Uh, yeah. But, but what you would do in your Google accounts, you want to come here under acquisition and you want to look at campaigns. And here's where you'll see the name of your feed, right? So we called this video test feed. Right. So here you would see video test feed and you can click into that and it'll show you, um, it'll show you the individual pages, but what you have to do, the tricky bit that you have to do to, um, to actually get to where the people were clicking mm -hmm. as they clicked on your feeds mm -hmm. is to come in here to, um, 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 hang on just a second. Destination page. So if you add destination page, which it doesn't do too much for, well, it does a little bit for this, but you'll you'll see your um, the feed name over here, and you'll see the page that they actually landed on here, and you'll see how much traffic went to each page. Ah, so it's treating each the, one of your feeds. Okay, so it's treating the RSS feed site pages as destination pages in Google Analytics. It's treating your whatever your blog pages are. Now this is so so. Oh, they're actually the, the you mean the pages being promoted through the blog then get the traffic and it'll say from RSS. Exactly. Okay, so gotcha. let's say that I'm not actually promoting this blog, but mm -hmm. I'm promoting five other blogs. Mm -hmm. Then I would look in the Google Analytics for those five other blogs. And in analytics under campaigns, I would actually see that feed yes, name. Totally gotcha. And I would see the destination on that particular blog. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. Okay, that's that's fantastic. May even want to make those sticky on the next rendition yeah well that, yeah actually that's an idea that we if have they're I mean, pulling up as most popular so. yeah that's exactly right that's uh, that gives me some ideas but again everyone listening this is the first version of this keep in mind that this is a one major but small part of the whole network empire socially activated semantically web integrated one web ring perpetual downstream domain authority stacking system uh, which is all about you and your company you know to each his empire. And we've been working on this stuff for the last couple of years. And so all of this is part of an integrated system and is a very rare type of thinking process that our team goes through to give you the easiest possible broadcasting. And RSS is a significant and useful part of content broadcasting. Uh, and this, of course, is just one uh, major feature in the whole process of hands-free publishing of your of your content and not not to mention major boon in now taking some of jimmy kelly and sue bell's principles of backlinking for safe and sustainable domain authority stacking uh, making it a thousand times easier so i'm really grateful that we've got this thing coming to market soon it's just 
a really, really incredible. Uh, it it is awesome. I'm totally excited and stuff. So I just want to let everybody know, if you're in the Tech Foundation courses, mm -hmm. we'll be integrating this into the training for the Tech Foundation courses. Mm -hmm. But there's also a special aspect of this that will, um, where we're going to combine this with another plugin that we'll talk about specifically for in certi certification because right. it it shows you how to tie your networks together. That's right. And, and, so. and uh, just to, since we're here, Sue, if you don't mind, uh, shameless plug, since we're so busy coding, if you could just go to themesumcertification.com. I just want everybody be, to be aware, uh, because we've done, we uh, have such a huge amount of different courses that it's I've been called out on not effectively marketing themesum certification enough. And part of it is that word of mouth is so powerful on this that we're pretty much sold out by the time it comes around. But I just want everybody to, to let you know that all of the things that we have have another level that we can only teach live and in person. And we have moved the date uh, until April. Uh, what's the date on that? Yeah, it's actually April, yeah. April 12th. Actually, this is a typo. This, uh, okay, that's reversed. a typo. Just go up to the calendar actually then. Um, and that way, yeah, okay, we need to jump right in. I'll jump right in there and replace the April 12th. Um, and so the April 12th date is, you, we have a early bird special offer until uh, January 1st of 2015, I believe. Is that correct, Sue? Yep, okay. that's right. And so go ahead and jump in because you're going to save almost five or six grand on that. And we really do want you to have access to the more advanced levels of integration that we'll be teaching. And I know Jimmy's got to head off, and uh, I think that's enough for this event. I'll go ahead and post this under uh, Jimmy and Sue Speak, and we'll go ahead and also put it under the One Feed uh, Supercharger, and I'll start letting everybody know about this amazing plugin, Sue. And Very cool. When can, we, awesome. when can we expect this to be available to the public? Actually, I'm not going to even put a date on that. Well, it's ready when it's ready. But just know that yeah. we, we have it in our hot little hands, and we'll release it to everybody as soon as it's uh, it will be very quick. It'll be very quick, and it'll be signed off by both Jimmy and Sue. All right, you guys, thank you so much, Jimmy. appreciate you showing up, and I'll talk to you guys. We'll, we look forward to seeing all of you on the inside. Thanks.